Hello guys, welcome to this review of this iMac M1 chip for architects or designers and I got the option for 16 gigs of RAM and 250 gigs of storage. The image quality of the screen is amazing. You can see a little bit of glare if you're sitting on the sides or if you're looking from the sides, but when you sit in the front, you barely even notice. If you're focused on your job, you're definitely not gonna notice at all. The keyboard is very comfortable to write on and the screen and the sound quality is unbelievable. Just listen. <laughs> And let's go back to the projects here. Uh, when installing the SketchUp, you're gonna be asked to be installing as well the application called Rosetta 2. Uh, basically visualize your applications uh, that should be only available on Intel chip. Um, but they will ask you only one time, but whenever you start your computer or quit the application of SketchUp, for example, you need to virtualize it every single time it doesn't take a lot of time though 30 40 seconds maximum and you will be ready to go here they are verifying the sketchup application it takes uh, 30 seconds or something you click open and then you click here start modeling and it's basically that simple i start to my screen recording and I will show you guys here um, some example of a project, not so large, but also not so simple. And I'm gonna choose here, this one, seems to be a perfume shop project. It doesn't have a lot of texture, but it's not very simple as well. Just to show you guys what you can do here. Uh, I'll be moving around. Uh, as you can see, it's not that heavy at all, you can manage uh, easily, easy peasy. You can move around easily when you're doing your projects. As you can see here, zooming out and in, no concerns, no lag at all. Yeah, uh, it's using around 9.5 gigs of RAM. So I'm not sure if it will be a good option for the people that wants to buy only eight gigs of RAM. I would highly suggest 16 for this reason. And now I'm gonna try something more heavy, a larger project like this one. Seems to be a large uh, residential project here, even though it's not scaled to reality, uh, it can be a good thing to test it out. Uh, this project here seems to be done, finalized it in the optimized way. It's not fully 3D, 3D. It's kind of empty on the inside. It's probably basic just for the rendering outside. But you know, for the matters of testing, zoom, moving around, uh, just to test it out, it's uh, pretty sufficient. As you can see, it has no problem here moving around this large project. Even though it has been optimized, uh, it's not full ready project. As you can see, it has a lot of flaws, but it's pretty good for testing. In this next project, as you can see, 13 gigs of RAM being used. It's a bit more finished, more complex project. And it takes a bit of time as well to fully render the details on the 3D model. You just wait one second or two and bump and fully render. Done. As you can see, it takes one, two seconds when you move around. But I think it happens to most of computers anyways. Uh, so yeah, it's a very large project, uh, a bit more detailed, more finished. And uh, as you can see, it can handle pretty well. There's no issues at all. It's not glitching, not breaking out the application. 
so you can build something similar for sure or even something more complex but with a smaller size uh, I don't think it will be any issues but again I have the 16 gigs of RAM and as you can see it's already been using uh, 13 so I would highly suggest if you want to build something more detailed more complex or large projects you should definitely go for the 16 gigs of RAM for sure I'll be opening a few applications at the same time to test it out the RAM usage and here I'm opening the numbers application which is something like Excel you can use it to create some quotes or calculation and uh, I'll be opening also the notes and the PDF uh, these ones are very heavy full of information from projects and they will definitely be glitching on my old laptop at this moment but here it just opens so fast so smoothly it's unbelievable I'm also opened the uh, Final Cut which is a something like a, a premiere from Adobe to create and edit videos and I don't have any project but I just opened the application to test it and I'm also opened this uh, 3d model from the SketchUp and it's very fast as well it didn't glitch at all moving around and zooming in and out as you can see and I'll be opening more uh, videos on YouTube websites everything uh, which is something that you'd be using you know to listen to music to listen to some tutorials I don't know something that you can use at the same time while creating your projects so for my final points I would suggest you to get the 16 gigs of RAM instead of the 8 because some applications can be a bit heavier than 8 gigs in the total if you have multiple applications open if you have YouTube open and especially if you install uh, something like Archicad Autodesk it's gonna be heavier on your computer and you need to have some more RAM and this RAM you need to be smart about it it's not something that you can open the iMac and install more RAM it's not possible they don't let you uh, you have to buy the RAM that you're gonna have it and stick to it forever basically so uh, I highly suggest you to get the 16 over the 8 in this model here that I did it's not complete yet it doesn't have the textures or furniture lights uh, I just did the floor plans and the windows doors uh, put everything together but it's just a rough model and in the next videos if you guys want to stick around subscribe for more complete videos from the beginning until the final render with v-ray or um, twin motion or something like this that we'll be checking around as well with this m1 chip and so yeah if you guys want to see the next videos please subscribe and i will see you around bye